Welcome back to another Stardew Valley video today. Today we are at the Festival of Ice and I'm going to be showing you how to win and what you need to know about it. Now, this event takes place in winter on the 8th of every year and it is one of the easiest festivals to win. You just need to catch 5 fish, which basically means you can't mess up. You do have the opportunity to catch 6 fish and sometimes 7 if you're lucky, but as you'll see at the end, you know, if you don't catch the fish by the time the timer runs out, that fish does not count. But you need at least 5 to win. And when you do win, you'll win a little sailor's cap and you'll get some equipment for your fishing rod as well, which you can use once you have the fiberglass rod or the iridium rod. You cannot use the attachments to help you out on the normal bamboo rod, which is kind of lame, but that's okay. So, also, if you'll notice to the left of me here, is a little store. You'll notice the traveling merchant with her lovely little pig, who you can go up to and oink at any point in time. And basically, she sells you some unique stuff. There will be some winter-themed things, as well as a rare crow. Now, it's interesting because she's guaranteed to sell it at the Festival of Ice, but she can also sell it randomly throughout the year at her uh, traveling merchant stand. If you're somebody that struggles with fishing, this is a great opportunity to learn as the fish are mostly sunfish, if not all I do believe, and they're very simple to catch. They do not move a lot, so it is good practice. And you know, fishing, just like anything else in Stardew, the more you practice, the better you'll be. If you're on controller, I find just a steady stream of tapping the X button rather than holding it and launching it up and down in every direction is a lot better way to go about it. Now, on the Festival of Ice Day, I should mention, don't miss it, you only have between 9am and 2pm. You have a 5 hour window, if you get busy with your farming that day and go to bed, you're going to be waiting until next year. But that's alright, because the prizes aren't that crazy anyways. And if you've already won the festival, by the next time you do it in year 2, the reward isn't really worth it, because after you get the equipment and the hat the first time you win, you receive 2000 gold as the prize moving forwards if you come in first place. Now, by the time you hit year 2, 2,000 gold really isn't a lot, so it's more just for the fun of it, really. But it's a fun little thing, and this is what happens when you win. Oh yeah, I imagine that smell is gnarly there, Mr. Mare. Smells like Marnie, hey? Haha. <laughs> no, just kidding, but anyways. Here we go, we get our Gucci, because we won. We're fantastic. We get our gear. We get this neat little hat we can put on. Fun fact about the hat, if you have the alien rare crow from the casino, you can also put hats on it. You can also put hats on the sea urchins in your fish tank, if you didn't know. I think that's a pretty neat feature. And now with that being said, the Festival of Ice comes to a close and you'll return back to the farm at around 10 p.m. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was informative. I will see you in the next Stardew Valley video. And check out this sexy sailor cap. If you want it, you gotta win the festival. And now along with your sexy sailor cap, you got some gear and a unique rare crow. Thanks for watching.